In the past year, I've used a lot of Govi LED strips in my projects and I've accumulated a lot of leftover pieces. Now, I do think Govi has done the best job of anyone in development of their app, but I don't think anything can compare to the customizable and amazing effects that you can achieve using the free WLED program. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect these type of strip lights so that they work with WLED. For the first step, I'm going to be using this 3-pin connector piece that I found on Amazon. Next, take your cutter and strip back a little bit of each wire. Now wherever you end up attaching this, make sure the word Govi on the LED strip is going away and not towards the connector piece. Next I'm going to take two breadboard jumper wires and since I only need the female end, I'm going to cut them in half and then strip back a little bit of the wire. In this step you'll be taking one of the jumper wires and twisting it together with the green wire which is connected to the middle data pad on the Govi LED strip. Use a little bit of electrical tape to wrap it up so there's no exposed wires. Now it's time to connect some of the wires to this DC barrel plug adapter that you can find on Amazon. This is where you need to make sure you're paying close attention. First, I'm going to take the white wire, which is connected to the 12 volt pad on the LED strip, and insert it into the positive terminal on the plug adapter. Now I'm going to be taking my other jumper wire and twisting it together with the red wire, which is connected to the ground pad on the LED strip. And finally, you're going to be inserting those twisted wires into the negative terminal on the plug adapter. Now if you don't know how to install WLED onto this ESP Wi-Fi board, I'll leave a link in the description to one of my previous videos that will walk you through the quick and easy steps. To connect this, all you have to do is take the one jumper wire that is connected to the negative terminal, which is also our ground wire, and plug it into the pin labeled GND on the Wi-Fi board. Next, you'll be taking the other jumper wire that is connected to the green data cable and inserting that into the D4 pin on the module. To power these LED lights, I'm just going to be using the same wall plug that they came with. And if you don't have this or you're currently using it to power something else, you can find a wide variety of 12 volt options on Amazon, which I will leave a link to in the description. So what's tricky about this setup is the lights require a 12 volt power supply but the ESP board only requires 5. If we try connecting the module to the 12 volt power supply, it's going to fry it. So to combat this, we can use a separate micro USB plug-in to power the Wi-Fi board which will complete the setup and your lights should now work. These steps should work on any 12 volt LED strips that you might have as long as they have the same 3 pin slash pad configuration. I did the same thing using some old Tasmor LED lights with the exact same results. The last few things to remember is that these LED strips will generally give you the ability to control LED lights in sets of 3's. So when you're in the WLED app and setting up the number of lights, make sure to take that in consideration. For example, if you have 99 LEDs on the strip, you would put the LED count at 33. And if you're selecting the red, blue, or green color and the wrong color is showing up, make sure to select a different RGB combination in the LED preferences of the WLED app until you get the right configuration. So that about does it for this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions, and if you did end up enjoying this video, please consider liking and subscribing.